Hi friends, it's Judy Love Bowman. I'm back with part two of the preface to the P15 Passbook. I hope you're sharing this. And like I said, I'm not on here to sell books. I'm on here to help us save a nation, unite a nation. Have mercy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So if you're just joining us, hope you'll subscribe to the channel and go back and look at the first part of the preface to the P15 Passbook, America's Passport for Unity by Judy Love Bowman for the More Love Movement. And the goal of the More Love Movement is unity, order, faith, justice, peace, and equality. So here we are. In America, it is critical that all people, and especially black people, have the tools and goals to survive in a racist, sexist culture with a scarcity of resources, particularly due to lack of reparations and training after emancipation and desegregation, particularly due to the mass incarceration rates of black men who are underrepresented in homes, universities, churches, and civil rights slash community organizations, and particularly due to our own misplaced values maladministration and misadministration as black people. You picked up or downloaded this past book, not as some empty ritual or to be, to see or to be seen. You picked it up because you care and you wanna see change in this generation and the next. And you may not have picked up this book or downloaded it, but you're listening. Please listen, please share. This is critical. It's from my heart. You picked up or downloaded this book not as an empty ritual or to see or be seen. You picked it up or you turned on this channel because you care and you want to see change in this generation and the next. And when all of the marching and protesting and singing and crying and preaching and meeting and greeting and eating and strategizing and plotting and planning and shouting is over, you want to do something. The More Love Movement offers this past book as a handbook for your personal journey during this modern day civil rights movement. Once you imagine, once you integrate the 15 principles into your life, family, group, and or career, it is my hope that you will pass it on. Unlike the past books in South Africa, the P15 past book is not a symbol of oppression, segregation, and urban, urbanization management. The P15 Passbook is a passbook for individual and collective change and upward mobility. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass this message on. Share it. It's on YouTube. It's free. Share it. Pass it on. At, at Mike Brown's funeral in Ferguson, Missouri, in August 2014, Reverend Al Sharpton of the National Action Network said, don't try to be on the program. Try to have a program. The More Love Movement offers P15, Project 15, as a personal slash individual program. After Mike Brown's murder, Ian Van Zandt encouraged activists to pause, plan, and participate peacefully. Pause, plan, and participate peacefully. One year after the murder of Mike Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, One year after Mike Brown's murder in Ferguson, Missouri, Ferguson was again in a state of emergency. This is symbolic of the unfinished business and unhealed wounds in Ferguson and in all of the Fergusons of America. Unity, order, faith, justice, peace, and equality are the central themes of the More Love Movement and also central to P15, Project 15. We need unity particularly in the black community because of the fear, distrust, and envy that we cultivated. We need, we, we need unity, particularly in the black community, because of the fear, distrust, and envy that was cultivated in us as a means to control us as slaves, which still lingers today. One missionary in Georgia told me of her own family member, they are so jealous hearted. As a black womanist female born in 1965 
who is a descendant of slaves, I have to describe the lens through which I look so I can be authentic and so that you can get the maximum benefit from my presentation of Project 15. We're not going to do this thing on a superficial level. We can talk about the system, but we need to do something. There are things we need to check in our own black communities and within, in our own black selves. We can take the plank from our own eyes first while simultaneously working to take the sawdust out of the system's eye. That's from Matthew 7, chapter 7, verse 3. Order is very important in this movement. The Bible says that everything should be done in decency and in order, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Some of our black organizations, institutions, and families suffer from maladministration and misadministration. Some leaders run organizations the way they run their homes and lives. This is not placing judgment. I know that people cannot give what they do not have. Each of us has an area of opportunity. I have faith that we can all step up and do better, individually and collectively. The Apostle Paul says faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. That's Hebrews 11 and 1. If we have mustard seed faith, we can move mountains, according to Matthew 17 and 20. Won't you believe with me today? Justice. Justice for all is part of the American dream. We all want the same things in life. Although blacks have been dealt disastrous and crushing blows in America, we still want justice. It seems that the farther one goes through the American criminal justice system, the blacker and or the poorer it gets. And as black people, we not only want justice in the legal and criminal justice system, but also in education housing, and public policy. When justice is not served or when it is doled out like dessert, those of us on the P-15 tour still need to exercise peace. Protests, economic boycotts, and organizing in the home and community should all be rooted in peace. While preaching and giving away books in September 2014, it was difficult to find a store near Canfield Apartments in Ferguson, Missouri, because many of the neighborhood stores and businesses were boarded up or burned down. Ferguson, like parts of Baltimore in 2015, looked like a bombed out disaster area. I am certain the rioting, burning, and looting in Ferguson and Baltimore following the murder of black men was a reaction and a demonstration of the release of anger from a people who have experienced bottled up feelings of deprivation and hopelessness while feeling unloved, undervalued. In 2015, one year after Mike Brown's murder, many protested peacefully while others looted. When we do not exercise peace, even in the face of brutality and gross injustice. We add to the pathology and further reduce the scarce resources available in predominantly black and poor communities. I understand the feelings of anger associated with racism and economic despair, but we need to let them manifest themselves in positive ways. I know we can do it. Equality is different than justice. We all want the same things in life, regardless of age, race, gender, education, orientation, and economic status. As I write the P-15 passbook, which is adapted from my P-15 speeches, I do not write alone. I, I write echoing the sentiments of my late father, my partner, my son, and the armor bearers of the More Love movement. I prayerfully and humbly write this P-15 passbook, which is a personal handbook, as I stand with the millions of others like you who care about saving souls, voting rights, poverty, the criminal justice system, holistic education, women's rights, economic parity, children's rights, social justice, race, racism, gender equality, profiling, police brutality, unity, order, faith, justice, peace, equality, and love. More love. I take no pride of authorship of the P-15 passbook. 
I am simply building on the work of Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Shirley Chisholm, Marion Wright Edelman, Martin Luther King Jr., Oprah Winfrey, Barack and Michelle Obama, Black Lives Matter, the NAACP leaders, SCLC leaders, SNCC leaders, Susan B. Anthony, NOW leaders, PUSH leaders, NAN leaders, Southern Poverty Law Center leaders, and so many other freedom-loving Americans whose names we will never know. And this, friend, ends part two of the preface to the P-15 passbook. America's Passport for Unity. Won't you share and continue to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be made aware when I continue with the preface and other parts of the P-15 Passbook. America's Passport for Unity. In the meantime, the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you and give you peace, power, and love. More love. Boost.